Hi everyone and welcome to another uh, video on our series Linux for Network Engineers and today we'll talk about uh, DHCP CD and let's see what that is. Um, so DHCP CD is what every uh, you know, or most let's say uh, network connected device have which is a DHCP client. It stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol Client Daemon, which means it's a daemon that uh, runs on the client and queries a DHCP server to get an address. So DHCP CD actually it's a newer um, DHCP client that you know has been released. Uh, the one you may know and uh, it's a little bit older, it's the DH client. But DHCP CD is newer, has some new features, and it comes by default for newer, um, at least Linux Debian distributions. I know that it ca comes by default for Debian threads and later. And I mean, like DHCP client, mostly automates all DHCP, um, DHCP CD needs of a host. If you need to have DHCP CD, DHCP enabled right on the host, but also have some new features compared to DH client, and that's what I want to go mostly through this live demonstration. So let's move on to our um, live demonstration here. This is I have a client here that has actually works with DHCP CD. If I try to see, if, you know, what um, DHCP CD, DHCP client. Um, demons run on this client, I can use the ps command which leaks, lists all processes on this machine, I can grape it and I can see that um, DHCP CD is running now in the background uh, continuously. So the way DHCP CD of course works is that it launches on boot and then it uh, automatically it tries to, under to understand what, uh, detect what interface are on a machine and then uh, accordingly uh, try to get an IP address for them. So it might try to get a DHCP address or if there's a specific configuration file on the agent it may get um, a static IP address. I want to contrast this little bit with the previous way you would configure um, a static IP on a on a host. So um, if you know you've been around around Linux for a while you know that uh, the most um, you know like the file you would use to configure a static IP or dynamic IP on interface would be the file uh, etc network interfaces. Let's see what this file looks like in this case. Um, so you see here this file manages two interfaces, the wireless interface and the wired interface. In this case the wired interface I have commented out the two lines that were assigning a DHCP address to the wired interface ETH0. I have left uh, the wireless interface WLAN0 on this configuration and I'm going to show you now how you manage uh, one of the interface in this case ETH0 through DHCP CD. So let's forget about ETH network interfaces and the configuration file when you use DHCP CD is etc dhcpcd.conf okay. Of course uh, there are dozens of options you can use with uh, DHCP CD, um, IPv6 for IPv4, uh, and some advanced things. Uh, I want to focus on a couple of new things I found very interesting and you may also find interesting, right? So I'm going to move down here to this section of the file. I'm going to clear this and I want to show you how you configure things, right? So let's do that. Um, so let's, let's, let's think about the first thing we want to do. Let's say we want to define um, an interface to be managed by DHCP CD. So here's the thing. Actually, if you don't give any like um, declaration in this file dhcpcd conf then dhcpcd is gonna try to detect what interface are, are available on the host and try to assign them a dhcp address right so that's one thing to keep in mind however you can specifically say I want to manage interface ETH0 with dhcpcd and if you don't add anything else dhcpcd will assume by default that interface uh, 0 is going to be a DHCP interface or you can add the keyword DHCP but it's kind of redundant, you don't need to do that, right? Another, um, I think, uh, interesting uh, option is that um, in this configuration file you can specify again what interface to include by using a wildcard or even what interfaces to 
um, you know, like non-managed with DHCP CD, right? So, for example, if I if I type deny interface sys wlan zero asterisk, so any interface that you know its name matches this uh, wlan asterisk um, wildcard name, it won't be managed by DHCP CD. Or the opposite is to type allow interfaces, uh, let's say ETH asterisk. And now DHCPCD will manage only interfaces that match this name, ETH0 and extension. Right? So it depends, of course, what is the name convention on your host and what you want to do, right? So this is how you configure a, a, a DHCP interface. Now let's see how you configure a static one. So you just specify static, you say static, uh, then you say IP, IP, I'm sorry, IP address. Uh, equals let's say 192.162.0.10 then you put here the net mask okay and then you have to of course specify the router or the gateway now you use the keyword gateway here um, and then you can specify of course um, DNS servers domain names Okay, you can specify actually more than one, of course, right? So this is how you define static IP, obviously. Um, now, um, another thing I found very interesting here is that DHCP CD allows you to use a fallback uh, configuration. And that means that, let's say, you specify interface to be managed, you know, as a, a DHCP interface, but for some reason, DHCP CD cannot acquire a, DHCP address, then you can ask DHCP CD to fall back to a static IP. Okay, that's a very interesting one. For example, you have a host that you want it to work as DHCP, but in case that doesn't work, you want to get a static IP at the end, and you can maybe remote to the, um, to the device and uh, be able to access that list with that st specific static IP, right? So I found that very interesting option. Of course, I guess it addresses, um, you know, like uh, a need you know, in, in, in the field where things may not work as they're supposed to, and you have a way to access devices that are, you know, headless, you don't have keyboard tags, you need to access them remotely, right? So let's see how you do that. So first of all, you define what we call a profile. So I'm gonna leave this configuration the same. I'm gonna say uh, profile static, static, ETH zero, right? So now this whole configuration can be um, referred by this uh, name profile name, which is called static ETH0. So then I go and I say, okay, now I'm gonna manage my profile, it, my interface ETH0 with, as a DHCP address, and then I'm gonna say fallback, okay, static ETH0. So now the main, uh, um, the first thing that uh, DHCP CD will do is try to get a, a DHCP address for ETH0, but if things don't work out, it's gonna fall to a static IP configuration, which is gonna be this one. So now if you know that, you can go and, um, you know, like access it by using that static IP, right? So I found this a very cool feature actually that addresses a need that <laughs> all of us have had when you deploy hosts out there, you cannot access them anymore and DHCP may be the issue. Um, and with that, I want to close this um, presentation about DHCP CD. Of course, again, there are dozens of other options, how to use, how to configure it, um, that of course would take hours to go through. Uh, but I would say that if you're moving forward, if you're configuring a new machine, um, I would say uh, look into DHCP CD. If it doesn't come by default, consider switching, uh, because if you offer some cool new features, might be more stable, it's a newer version, and um, have some new features as I showed you, that it's difficult to configure with DHCP its client, um, um, you know, as, as straightforward as this here. Thank you all, and uh, um, for for watching, and uh, see you at another Linux Windows Engineers video. Bye.